what it promotes mostly are items that generate strong emotions. What generates strong emotions? Well, uh, content that is cute or lovely like puppies and baby goats, but also content that is extreme, content that is angry, content that is hateful, content that feeds conspiracy theories. And this, this hateful, angry conspiracy theory collection doesn't just spread because people like it. In fact, it more often than not spreads because people have problems with it. If I were to post some wacky conspiracy theory on my Facebook page today, nine out of 10 of the comments that would follow it would be friends of mine arguing against me, telling me how stupid I was for posting this. The very act of commenting on that post amplifies its reach, puts it on more people's news feeds, makes it last longer, sit higher, right? So the very act of arguing against the crazy amplifies the crazy. There's a ton of news right now. A lot is going on, and we have all these 24-hour news networks, and we could be covering everything, but instead we're covering like three topics. I think what no one in this room wants to admit is that Trump has helped all of you. He's helped you sell your papers and your books and your TV. You helped create this monster, and now you're profiting off of him. The very act of commenting on that post amplifies its reach, puts it on more people's news feeds, makes it last longer, sit higher, right? So the very act of arguing against the crazy amplifies the crazy.